This video is brought to you by Sportsman's Guide. Sportsman's Guide is a super sweet website that has ammo, things, hunting stuff, military surplus, boots and shoes, clothing, fishing, boating, camping, outdoor recreation, tools and power equipment, home and gifts. And if you join the Buyers Club for $50 a year, you get so much cool stuff like free shipping on any merchandise order over $49. Plus, you'll get an everyday discount and up to 10% on gear and 5% on other things. Being part of the Buyers Club gives you exclusive access to the Bullseye deals. 25%, 22%, 15%, 24%. So many deals. Also, if you use the code DONUT at checkout, you get $20 off if you spend over $100. So check it out now, sportsandsky.com. Hi, everyone. Donut here. Guess what? Antifa. Do you guys know that Instagram took my video down of me making a parody of about running farm equipment over members of Antifa? They said it was harmful. Anyways, I came across a video today and it just warmed my heart. What are you doing? Use your words. What are you doing? Use your words. What are you doing? Use your words. What is going on? Who are you? NLG will get you out. What's your name? Tell us your name. Okay, you're fine. We'll get you out. We got you, friend. We got you. The fuck? NLG. You just violated their rights. People. You just violated their rights. I sink that and I sink them kits and I'm like, that local police, hmm. Them boys got nice kits on and they snatching people up and putting them in the unmarked mom minivans and driving off without saying anything. What is going on? That's when I got to searching and I found a ton of juicy little videos on Andy Knows Twitter. Andy, if you'll remember, was the guy that went undercover in Chaz and saw a bunch of crazy stuff and reported on it. Andy's like on the Antifa's most wanted list. They look for him at the Portland protest so they can beat him up again. They hate Andy so much that they harass any old random Asian dude walking around at these Portland protests. Who are you? Why the middle finger? What's your name? Who the f are you? Who are you? Why? Oh yeah. Do you think that I'm Andy Noe? Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> you racist c***s. <laughs> I'm fucking sick of this. This is the second time this has happened to me. The third time this has happened to me at protests. Yeah. I feel like you're doing it intentionally then. Just be, just be proud that you're not Andy. Andy, what's wrong? Yeah, just be proud no, that no, you're not No, no, I'm super proud that I'm not Andy. Well, but I'm right. really irritated that you stand here no, and put your middle fingers in my face. You're, 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 you're a bunch of racist c***s and if you gotta stop. Think about why you're here. Think about why you're here. If you're not Andy, then you wouldn't be antagonizing. Exactly what you're doing. And you wouldn't be you know exactly. I don't think your argument has internal validity. There. There's no logic. All done. Wait, wait, wait. All done. All done. Wow. Sorry, but I didn't see the random man who was an ally with these people antagonizing anything. They started yelling at him and flicking him off. And he's like, you're a bunch of racist cats. This bullshit happens all the time. Anyways, back to the face mask, kitted up spooky boys coming in and snatching up Antifa people. My first thought is they look kind of federal. It's true, they are federal. Why would a bunch of federal officers be running around Portland snatching people up? Maybe it's because this is what government buildings are starting to look like right now. Maybe it's because, according to Andy, they're starting large fires every single night, vandalize everything in the area, leave and leave a mess. The city cleans in the morning and the cycle starts again at night. Maybe because, according to Portland police, numerous lawful orders were given to disperse, but instead people threw glass bottles, paint rocks, ball bearings, and other projectiles at officers. At that same protest, the same video we were just watching, one guy learned the hard way you shouldn't put a laser pointer in a cop's face. Who are these wonderful men in uniform? The U.S. Marshals, Federal Protective Service, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, and Homeland Security. Oh no, it's not just local cops anymore. Oh no, if you assault them, you're facing federal charges. 
those aren't the charges that you want. According to reports, federal officers are protecting federal property and personnel in downtown Portland, including the Marco Hatfield Federal Courthouse, Pioneer Courthouse, and Edith Green Wendell Wyatt Federal Building, and Terry Shrunk Plaza. Prosecutors say there has already been more than $50,000 in damage to federal courthouses. Federal prosecutors have said nearly a dozen people have been arrested, and they are facing a variety of charges from assault on federal officers to destruction of federal government property and disorderly conduct. Who exactly are they arresting, and what are those people being arrested doing? Oh, and by the way, Antifa set up an autonomous zone. Shortly after they set it up, though, federal police said, no, that's not going to work, and arrested nine people. Let's take a look at what that autonomous zone looked like. Uh-huh, uh-huh, oh, nice, nice. Got a little battle shield there, huh? Nice, nice, nice. No, they're just <laughs> top embassy. I guess it's the red tent right there. What's happening is these people are getting arrested for these violent crimes, and then they're being released like the same day and just going out and doing more violent crimes. And that's another reason why the federal police has shown up. This chick's been arrested twice in the span of a couple of weeks. This one's been arrested three times. Uh, this one's been arrested twice also. This guy's been arrested twice. As I said earlier, those federal charges are something you don't want to have. Let's look at some of the people who have already caught some of those federal charges. Trans activist who boasts of having a female penis was arrested at an Antifa riot in Portland and charged with assaulting a federal officer. This guy was arrested and charged by federal authorities in Portland for attempting to burn a federal building. Hell, this guy was arrested for using a slingshot to fire ball bearings at fire and rescue. Andy says he took off running and was armed with a crowbar. Police arrested him and found a bunch of other weapons on him. Looks like we got some fireworks, a knife, some road flares, gas masks, slingshots. Oh, God, he even had the glass slingshot ammo, those little ball bearings that are made of glass. Don't forget the most dangerous item of all, the assault tennis racket. I think one of the most interesting federal arrests I've seen so far is a guy with a hammer trying to hold a door shut to a federal building while those same federal officers who were all kitted up are trying to come out. When they do finally manage to get out the door because there's like 30 of them inside, 23-year-old Jacob Michael Gaines uses this hammer right here to strike an officer. Hit the door! That's not a swarm of angry bees I'd want to fuck with. The Protect and Serve subreddit, as always, has the best comments for this video. Motherfuckers trying to spawn kill. I see nothing negative about this. That guy is going to get the federal felony with a sentence up to 20 years. There isn't parole in the federal system. No doubt, minimum on assault with a deadly weapon is 10 years. Maximum is 25. Rumor is that DOJ has directed no pleas below maximum for rioters. So I would expect him to go to trial and probably get 15 to 20 years. Oh no, <laughs> no please below max for rioters. It's, it's so beautiful. I'm sorry, I need a moment. Hey, what the fuck? Get off him, mindless zombies. Did you notice that? Especially the girl that was with him trying to hold the door was screaming, what are you doing? Get off of him. It's like he didn't just use a big ass hammer to hit a federal officer. You can't do that. This got posted on the ACAB Reddit and they were literally calling for more violence against cops and calling this person a hero. Shouldn't that sub be banned based off of Reddit's terms of service then? Oh, you sweet, sweet summer child. <laughs> yeah, Reddit doesn't really give a fuck when it comes to doxing police officers, talking about doing violent things against them. You know, silly little things like that. I love that the video one of their comrades took will be Exhibit A. Right, you just wanted to get a nice clip of your hero there smacking a federal officer with a hammer, but all you did was give the police a really, really great piece of evidence to show in court. Oh yeah, and one more little video that I wanted to show from Portland that just tickles my pickle. An Antifa dude decided to open the car door of the wrong drill sergeant that knew a little judo. Oh, hey. Hey, he's got arrows in his car. Hey, 
And that is all I have today, everyone. For all you federal officers in Portland who are now trying to calm everything down after the mayor has been unsuccessful at doing shit, good luck. I'm sure the law-abiding, tax-paying residents there are actually happy to see you. To everyone else doing all this crazy stuff, enjoy those federal charges. I'm going to be streaming over at twist.tv slash donut operator as soon as this video is released. Use your Amazon Prime account to subscribe to me for free. I got a Patreon. I got merch at Bunker Branding. We have aprons now. Everybody, please have a fantastic day. Whacker.